Hey there everyone, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Marvel Legends Bullseye Action Figure by Toy Biz. This figure set uh, is part of the Galactus series, which was the first uh, series in the Marvel Legends line to include uh, Build-A-Figure parts uh, to construct a uh, larger figure. And uh, this figure set includes the left leg of Galactus. I believe uh, this set was originally released in 2005 and I bought this uh, figure set at a local comic shop, uh, World's Best Comics, on Free Comic Book Day of 2010. As you can see here, uh, the set uh, cost only $7. I think it was marked down, uh, probably uh, $15, I'm not sure. And uh, as you can see the figure in the package here, uh, this is the variant of the bullseye figure. Uh, this uh, variant has a, a unique head sculpt and I think it's painted gray instead of uh, where the white should be. You can see uh, behind the figure is a uh, is a recreation of the Daredevil comic uh, number 132. Looking at the uh, back of the package here, uh, you can take a look at the uh, statistics of Bullseye here and a description of Bullseye if you want to read that. And also other figures from the Galactus series. You have Grey Hulk, Nightcrawler, Bullseye, War Machine, Deathlock, Professor X, and Doctor Strange. Uh, the variants uh, in this series was the uh, Hulk here. Uh, he has a green-skinned variant. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the Bullseye variant. Let's go ahead and uh, open up this package. And we'll be right back. Okay, uh, we're back and Bullseye is out of the package. And we'll go over some of the items that came with the figure. Uh, first uh, up is the Build-A-Figure part, which is the left leg of Galactus. And it's a fairly tall piece uh, when standing it next to the figure itself. And uh, once completed, Galactus is going to be fairly tall. Even taller when compared to the Marvel Universe line of figures. Uh, this uh, leg is uh, fairly detailed. It's, an, it's got a nice sculpt to it. And I hope to uh, get all the pieces uh, one day to complete the figure. I have about half of them so far. And there, this is uh, the left leg of Galactus here. Next thing uh, we'll take a look at are a couple of pamphlets that came with the set. We have here a um, subscription uh, application for Marvel Adventures Spider-Man. And also a pamphlet uh, for the Fantastic Four movie that uh, came out back in 2005, the first Fantastic Four live-action movie. Well, actually, not the very first one, but... Uh, it goes over the descriptions of the main characters and Doctor Doom and some of the toys that came came out at the time of the movie. And uh, next thing we'll take a look at is the recreation of Daredevil uh, 132. Um, I was kind of surprised. I thought um, the recreation would be uh, on the glossy type paper, but uh, actually it's on uh, the interior is made of newsprint, so that's kind of nice. Uh, this is actually the second appearance of Daredevil. I did some research on uh, when Daredevil first appeared. And his first appearance was in Daredevil 131. Uh, I'm not sure why they did not include that particular issue instead of this issue. I have never read it, and my only guess is that the uh, in issue 131 nothing goes on, <laughs> but in issue 132 there's a lots of action going on in this uh, in this comic. So I'm I'm thinking that's the only reason why they included 132 instead of 131. So, but uh, I haven't read this one, uh, but I plan to, because uh, it looks uh, like a pretty interesting reading there. Now, on to the 
bullseye figure itself. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. He's got. Uh, he's holding a cell phone. Because um, other than what I've already shown you so far, he doesn't come with any other accessories uh, to go with the figure. So I added a little cell phone here because uh, bullseye. He can turn anything into a lethal weapon. So. I decided uh, to see if, just go ahead and put the cell phone on there. That's the only thing I could find at the moment. But uh, looking at the figure, uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, I, I like the figure. Uh, he's got this menacing grin on his face. You can take a look at that. This is the variant head there. And uh, normally where the white areas would be, it looks like they uh, did a wash of gray uh, over it. And uh, it's a very nice figure. Uh, very close to um, what was uh, shown in the comics. Uh, the, of course, the, uh, the bullseye on the top of the head and the shoulders is not quite the same as the comic, but... I think this is more, uh, probably one of the more modern appearances of uh, Bullseye. And uh, he's got some nice detail. He's got something on his belt here. He's got pouches uh, probably for items that he, he'll tend to throw. Maybe like pencils or darts or, or whatever he can make into a lethal throwing weapon. And he's also got... Uh, one on his uh, leg here as well. It's kind of nice and detailed there. And um, this is a, a very nice figure. Uh, going over some of the articulation, it this is a fairly articulated figure. I think it has 44 points of articulation, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, his head uh, has got a wide range of motion, which I really, really like. Um, his head is on a ball hinge joint, and I wish more figures were on this type of head articulation because the range of motion is very nice. Uh, I can go all left and right, up and down, uh, pretty much tilt to the side. It's very, very nice uh, range of motion. And you can even, of course, go all the way around. So I just wish more figures had this type of head articulation. It's very nice. Uh, the arms go all the way around, they go out and in, the bicep uh, can rotate all the way around, it's got double joints at the elbows, uh, the forearm uh, rotates all the way around, the hands bent up and down, there's individual articulation on the fingers, it's very nice, and the arm also can go back and to the front as well on this uh, pivot here. The torso goes down very far and uh, back quite a bit. Uh, the waist uh, rotates all the way around below the belt on there. The legs are on a ball hinge swivel joint so the legs can pretty much go up down to the back and uh, out to the side and also rotate all the way around on the hip. No thigh articulation, but uh, there's double knee articulation. Rotates all at the calf, and the feet uh, go up and down, rocked side to side as well, and toe articulation. So overall, this is a very nice uh, articulated figure. You can get him into a lot of poses, uh, and that's uh, one thing with uh, Bullseye. He, he can get into quite a few poses in the comics and you can easily recreate it in uh, on the figure form. Uh, I recommend getting this if you can find it. I got it for only seven dollars which is really nice. Um, I don't know if uh, much, too many differences between the uh, different heads. I guess the, the base head is just a, a non-grinning version. Uh, but if you like the uh, menacing gr uh, grin of this uh, bullseye, I recommend go ahead and get it. Uh, this is my casual peek into the Marvel Legends bullseye figure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.